Heartbeat sensors are fascinating components used in variety of applications from health monitoring devices to fitness trackers. In this video, we are going to interface this heartbeat sensor with an Arduino in order to see its real-time heartbeat rate. So let's dive straight into it. Let's start by understanding the basics of the heartbeat sensor. This sensor detects the change in blood volume in the skin and converts them into electrical signals. These signals are then processed to calculate the heartbeat rate. The heartbeat sensor module has three pins, VCC, ground and an analog output pin. Now let's look at the various parts of this sensor. So it consists of parts like this photo detector and red and IR LEDs in front. The pulse sensor shines light through the skin and measures the reflection with the photo detector. This method of pulse detection through light is called photoplethysmogram. At the back side also we have some circuitry but that is mostly to amplify gain, to reduce noise and a reverse voltage protection diode. Now let's look at this sensor's working. The sensor provides an analog voltage waveform that represents the heartbeat. By analyzing the time between peaks in this waveform, we can calculate the heartbeat rate. Now let's connect the heartbeat sensor to the Arduino. Connect the VCC pin of the sensor to the 5V pin of Arduino. The ground pin to the ground pin and the analog output pin to one of the analog input pins of the Arduino, for example A0. Let's also connect this OLED to Arduino in order to see the live output of the heartbeat sensor on it. You can refer to the circuit diagram on screen or pause the video to ensure your connections are correct. Remember, you can find the complete circuit diagram and code in the blog linked in the description. Alright, now let's dive into the software part. Okay, now let's start with the software implementation of this project. Okay, so this is our first block of code. You can see this is the Adafruit SSD library which is used for operating the OLED. This is the OLED's address and this is basically the class where we are creating the object and you know it is the resolution for the OLED is 128 by 64. So we are putting this as parameters. Okay, so now this is the second block. As you can see, uh, we've uh, you know initialized various variables here, which are uh, related to heartbeat sensing. So this is a last a last b last time BPM timing this time. So everything is related to you know calculating the BPM. And the most important thing here is this upper threshold and lower threshold. So which is uh, basically the limit uh, where we count it as a beat. Uh, as you might know that the analog signal is coming from the heart sensor. So what this does, these two lines, is basically if it, uh, if the analog range comes between 510 to 520, it would count it as a beat. So you can change this, make upgrades if you are not able to direct your heartbeat accordingly. Okay, uh, now let's move on to our third paragraph. Here in the void setup, we have begin the OLED, we have given it the OLED address also. We have cleared whatever will be on the display before, so that will be cleared. We have uh, given it the text size and we have started serial communication in case we want to debug it or print anything on the serial monitor later on. Now we will go to our next block which is the void loop block. As you can see, uh, what this is doing is this is putting a condition here that the F or A value which we saw here before, this A value which we defined here, if it is greater than 127 somehow, okay, what it will do is it will uh, clear the display and it will again give A is equal to D 0 and it will do last A is equal to A last A means last value of A which will be equal to A, right. So what is this A? So this is basically used for controlling data scrolling. So, you know, if data on the screen is more than what it is, you know, required, what it will do is it will automatically clear the display. So this is for the OLED. Okay, so let's move on to our next block, which is our data acquisition and visualization block. So this variable will store the current value from the start of the code, from when the code begin to run. Uh, till this specific time which is the millis function through the millis function it will be stored in the variable this time it will read the analog uh, read value which is from the heartbeat sensor and then what it will do is it will serial print it on the monitor basically on this serial monitor and then it will set the text color to white and then uh, this specific segment what it will do it is 
it will take the value from the heartbeat sensor and it will uh, you know uh, draw a line on the oled sensor and as the value of the heartbeat changes through the heart sensor this line will also change so this is basically to get a visual representation of the heartbeat on the oled okay so our next block of code is very important so this is the main algorithm code for the complete thing as you can see uh, there are two main comparisons here first is the value and second is the upper threshold so value is basically the variable uh, you know which is which stores the data from the analog read from the heartbeat sensor so this is direct data from the heartbeat sensor and the second value is upper threshold which we initialized way before at the start and i told you it is very important this one this is a threshold value so what this condition does is it checks if this value is greater than the upper threshold if it is it checks if a beat was previously completed right if a beat was completed what it does it calculates the beat per minute on the time so this is basically you know the code for calculating beats per minute on the time between the both the beats it means this time and the last time right so i know it's a bit complicated but uh, i think if you uh, write the code and if you understand the code a bit in depth you'll understand what this means you'll have to just see, see through the code again so this time and last time are variables which we also declared previously only and what this code does it is calculates beat per minute it's simple as that and based on that what is does is it resets the flag values so this are timing flags uh, which both has to be false for now the bpm timing variable so what it does if it was not already in progress which means if it is false what it does is it records the current time so you can see in the last time variable we are recording the current time and then we are setting the uh, bpm timing flag as true again so next if the value which we got from heartbeat sensor if it is less than the threshold which we decided right and the bpm timing is ongoing so it is important that the bpm timing is true for us to record the values okay it signals that the beat complete has been true which means beat beat has been completed right so the next set of code is easy to understand so what this does is it clears a rectangular area on the oled display to display you know the bpm value and then we'll set the cursor at 050 on the screen we'll write the text bpm and then we'll display the bpm values what this oled dot display does it is it will you know render all the values on the screen whatever we wrote it will be rendered on the screen and this will increment you know the a variable which we declared for controlling the scrolling of data on the display so when that is then what we'll do is we'll select our port and our board and we'll upload the code and here's the working demo of the project and that's it for this video hope you enjoyed the complete tutorial if you did make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep making more informative content for you guys thank you for watching see you in the next one